when you look for yourself online, what do you look like? How are you going to get found by people who are searching for your services? That's right. And what if you don't like what you find when you search for yourself? What do you do? Hi, I'm Charlie Seymour, Jr. And I'm Dr. Mark Koss. And thanks for coming to this question and answer video. But make sure you stay tuned to the end because we have a very special offer for you that you want to check out. We certainly do. So go ahead and watch. We'll see you in the end. What do you look like on all those rating and review sites? This, we could have done 25 of this question. We get this question so often. Yeah, I mean, and it's something that's just been exploding. I mean, I don't remember a time where there were as many of these, these review sites as there are now. I mean, uh, there were always a couple out there, you know, especially as a professional. You search and you say, oh, okay, there, there's my name. I don't know what that site is. Now, the average doctor, let's say, if I Google that person's name, I get it up to three, four, five oh, pages yes. that are, you know, a dozen, well, maybe even two dozen at this point of these kind of review sites. Things like, you know, vitals.com, healthgrades.com for the healthcare side of things, and there are lots of them. Yelp for restaurants, but for all professions at this point. So they are just mushrooming out there because these sites aggregate. They, they try to get as many people from different categories and list them there so that when someone is searching for a doctor in a particular area, they're hoping that you'll come to that site to find out information about you, about you as the, the professional and business owner, and they're going to look for the reviews because people are much more interested, for better or for worse. I, you know, I, I'm the same as anyone else, actually. If I go to Amazon to, to, uh, to look for a book, absolutely. the first thing I tend to look at is not the publisher's review. Uh, I look at what other people who have bought the book are saying. Right. Now, that may not be the most accurate way to do it, but again, it's sort of human nature. It's what we do. We're interested in sort of social proof, right? We're interested in what are, what are people like me saying about this person. And these sites understand that. Angie's List has, has really worked this. It's uh, a big they one. started with plumbers and contractors, and now they're all about healthcare and other professionals. So the idea is they're doing this. They're inviting all of your customers and clients to put a couple of stars there and explain something about you. So you're there already. You can't avoid it. Now the question is, what is there? And is being blank a good thing? And what you have to do about it. So in our assess, we want to find out what sites you're on. Are they blank? Are you about to be hurt because somebody could come in with a review that says some negatives, yet that review has already surfaced pretty high in the results. Now they come and put something in there that could be a negative on you. So we definitely don't want that to happen. And then we want to well, get a program going. why you have to monitor because Correct. these a sites are very basis, active. At least. They're constantly out there you know, pulling more information, trying to attract more people to do this. So how are you going to know? I mean, are you going to sit there and really log in every single day to see what reviews mm -hmm. have been done about you? Even if you intend to, you're a busy person. You're not going to do that. So to have someone, at least on a monthly basis, run a screening report and sort of pull that information and deliver it to you to say, hey, did you notice that this was just posted because the thing is we've talked about in other questions about the fact that the web now is about engagement totally. so you, you really shouldn't see this as a negative phenomenon it can be if you neglect it but you want to you want to just join this fray at this point and say all right i actually want to encourage my best clients to go out there and help build my reputation absolutely Invite we need them. a whole system to be able to do that so that's beyond what we're doing here in the assess and the monitoring, the monthly monitoring of but how we but do it's that. But the information that you need in it order to be able to do yes. that. We need to do that so assessment that you know. first so that we know. Yeah. Wow, you were pretty good in that, Dr. Mark. You weren't too shabby yourself. Well, thanks very much. And that was one of 25 questions and answers that we have for you. That's right. We spent a whole lot of time. We really want you to get found online. So we went through 25 of these. This was just a sample, and we want to give it all to you. Well, where can they come and get all that information? Well, getfound101.com is the place to go. Sounds like a smart idea. So join us over there, getfound101.com, and get all 25 of these, getfound101.com.